Alright, welcome to the Will Dogs Games and Wrestling. Hello, geeks of the world. Um, I've got my luchador mask on this week, and that must mean only one thing. It is the premiere of my new show, the Weekly Wrestling Wrap-Up. Now, I am a WWE fan, as many of you will know from my, um, my wrap-ups of different pay-per-views, but I've recently restarted watching Raw, SmackDown, that kind of stuff. And I'd like to review them every week, especially in the March to WrestleMania here. So, this week was sort of uneventful, but also eventful. Um, so, Raw, the big highlights were Undertaker was on Raw for the first time since uh, around WrestleMania 31 last year to address the Shane McMahon match coming up at WrestleMania 32. Um, he confirmed what I figured would happen. I, yes, he was kind of playing a heel with Brock Lesnar back in, um, summer, you know, SummerSlam last year. So I guess that was the last time he was on. I forgot about that whole thing. Um, but he was back and he told Vince, you know, whatever I do, you know what I do. And that blood from your son is going to be on your hands. And that was it. That's all he said. He didn't have to have this big promo. And it worked for what it was. So I was very happy with that. Um, it was exciting to see him back. I always love his entrance. I mean, best entrance in, in WWE history. Uh, probably wrestling history. Um, so they set that up a little bit. I'm excited to see if Shane McMahon comes back next week on Raw and Answers. And says, you know, I'm going to kick his ass type thing. Um, so they're, they're setting that up. Uh, Reigns was not on Raw this week that I can remember. Um, I watched it a few days ago. Um, and if he was, it was not memorable. Um, so he was on Raw and they're selling the whole nose injury from the beatdown he took from Triple H a couple weeks ago. Um, which... Apparently was a pre-existing injury. You know, you get online and you find out all that stuff from the backstage and all that. But storyline-wise, Triple H broke his nose. Um, so his brother, you know, not really brother, but, you know, they're brothers. Uh, Dean Ambrose, um, he came out and confronted Triple H said he wanted a title shot. And uh, Triple H said he'd tell him by the end of Raw. This was the opening segment. Now... Ambrose ended up having to um, have a match against about Alberto Del Rio, uh, part of the League of Nations, which I, I like that stable. Um, the League was out during the match, uh, so obviously they're in line, in, in pardon, pardon the wording here, but in league with the, the authority doing Triple H and Stephanie McMahon's bidding. Um, I liked it. He got the ever-living hell beat out of him. I loved it. And Triple H came out. And basically it looked like he wasn't going to give the, the title shot. And then he finally did give the title shot. He said, you know, you want a title shot, you got it. Because Ambrose, broken down and beaten, went after him. Ate a pedigree on the mat. And Triple H said, you got, you got your title shot. And, uh... Triple H left the ring, and there's Ambrose lying on the mat right next to the microphone. Doesn't even lift his head. He's just lying there. Says, hey, Hunter, thanks. You know, just to mock him a little bit, and I like that. Now, my big question after all was, when is this title shot going to happen? Um, and that was answered later. They announced that they're going to have a special live event coming out, emanating from Toronto called WWE Live Roadblock. So, kind of plays off the whole road to WrestleMania. This is Triple H's roadblock leading into WrestleMania. Now, what I want to talk about is what I believe will happen if... What I don't think will happen, but we, we got to go through all possibilities. If Ambrose takes the title. Do I think he'll take the title? No. But him taking the title leads to a few interesting little... Uh, options for WWE to take leading into WrestleMania. So you got Dean Ambrose taking the title. I thought to myself, does that make 
um, his match with Brock Lesnar for the title. I would be all for that. Does that make the title match a triple threat between Reigns, Triple H, and Ambrose? Because, you know, Triple H gets his rematch, and Reigns um, won the opportunity to go to WrestleMania and wrestle for the title at Fastlane. Now, that would be fine, too, but this could also evolve into a Fatal 4-Way with Brock Lesnar and those other three. Either way, I'm happy. Now, what I will not be happy about is what I think will be will be happening here is Triple H take you know holds on to the title and wrestles Reigns at, at Mania, and they continue to shove him down our throats. So, um, let's hope I'm wrong here, for for the sake of everybody. Let's hope that that, that Ambrose takes the title and one of those things happens, because either way we've got a great match. Um, this is a dream match. This is Dean Ambrose. He's been with the in, you know in the Indies, Ring of Honor, and all that um, for years now. And Triple H is a is a veteran, and that's what you want to do is you want to take the up and comer, as far as the company's concerned, because Ambrose debuted in what 2012. You know, he's still kind of an up and comer. He hasn't taken the title. Uh, the, the main title. Um, he's held a couple of the minor titles. And then you got Triple H, the how many ever time world champion. Thank you, Hunter, for bearing all those people to get to those titles. But you got this veteran and this up-and-comer, and you're going to make them clash. It's going to be awesome. Um, the fans love Ambrose. The pop for, for everything to do with Ambrose was amazing. Loved it. Um... Now, the rest of all, I couldn't honestly tell you what happened. Uh, except for, you know, the Divas match. Um, you had Becky Lynch wrestling Sasha Banks for the number one contender to the Divas title uh, that Charlotte holds. Uh, it would be the match for Mania. And it, there was a double pin. It looked really forced, even by wrestling standards, that double pin. I wasn't a big fan of it, but I will be a big fan of it if it leads to a triple threat at Mania. Uh, because those three are saving the Divas division right now. Um, they really need ba uh, Bailey to get called up, the, the fourth horsewoman, um, as they're calling themselves, the four horsewomen, um, for her to get called up and then just run rough shot through the division. We finally have an interesting Divas division. They tried the whole give Divas a chance and initiative crap earlier this year that, that fizzled out. It's not good because it was all full of Nikki and Brie Bella, which we won't talk about that. So they're going to wrestle again on SmackDown. I have not watched SmackDown yet. I think it just aired. Um, I did not get around to it. Uh, I've been busy today. So... Next week, when I do this wrap-up, which, by the way, again, we'll be wearing the mask. Um, we'll talk about SmackDown this week. We'll talk about Raw next week. And we'll, we'll see where these storylines go. So far, intriguing if they do the right things. Th this kind of situation books itself. But I've seen the way WWE handles situations that book themselves. So... I have zero faith right now, but it would be awesome to see. So, on that, let me just announce, next week I will be debuting a new show. Um, we'll be doing the wrestling wrap-up again. This will be a weekly thing. Uh, I'm also going to debut uh, the Will Dogs Book Club. What the Will Dogs Book Club is going to be is I'm going to pick a book. Right now I'm into Star Wars. So, it'll probably be a Star Wars book, and I'll say... This is the next book I'm reading. This is the next book I'm reviewing. If you want to keep up and, you know, read the books with me, go ahead. But once I'm done reading them, I'll go ahead and review them. And I'll take I'll take requests, too. So if you have books you want me to read and review for the show, let me know. Also, pretty soon here, I'm going to be debuting another 
new show. This uh, channel is going to evolve into a more show-based uh, a channel. Uh, two new shows coming up. Uh, the Will Dogs Movie Reviews. Um, that'll be one, one a month. It'll be a new movie. Um, probably, you know, some sort of geekiness or, or like a big movie. Think stuff like Captain America 3. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. You got Suicide Squad coming up. Those are three movies I've already got on the list for the World Dogs movie reviews. Alright, now dealing with that every every month as well. But you think World Dogs movie reviews, we'll call it on the 15th of the month. This next one will be on the 1st of the month. And that's the World Dogs retro movie reviews. Now these, I, I've come up with three three key rules for this. One has to be released before the year 2000. All right. Two, it has to be a movie I have not personally seen. I'm going to show the amount of movies I have not seen um, through this. And three, has to be geeky in some way. Um, whether that's cartoon geek, wrestling geek, gaming geek, comic book geek, something. Uh, Sci-fi, fantasy, stuff like that. Um, so we will be starting that. Um, on top on top of that, I've got some more ideas, but I want to get these shows off the ground and running first, and then we'll 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 keep adding. Um, so with that, I will call the end of this review, and I will do my uh, usual PSA. Geeks of the world, whatever you geek may be, be sure to let your geek out. <laughs>